Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, I figured out why the BMS wasn't working. I had to short the two connection point here and then it started working. But as you can see, I zip tied it down. I added the battery pack thermistor to this uh, BMS because it had a NTC connection. So I wired that up to use one of the thermistor on the battery pack just to see if it works or not. And so I'm going to go ahead and start powering this up through the inverter again and then see how much amps it could take if it turns off. Like I'm going to try to give it like maybe over 50 amps. So that's what it's rated for to for 50 amps and see if it turns off at 50 amps. So just give me a minute here. I'm going to go to the garage and connect this battery pack. Okay, so I connect this to the inverter. I forgot I wired the ground from the back here to the front to the BMS. So I'm going to go ahead and s switch it on. So right now I got things wired to the AC side. I have an outdoor attic fan that I use in my patio area that consumes about maybe 300 watts. So let's see what uh, that does when I turn it on. Okay. So it's pulling 215. Let me try to measure the amps that we're pulling here. Well, There's only eight amps so far. Oops. Let's see how hot is this thing getting? Because it was hot before with 30 amps. I can feel it getting warm. Well, the cable's fine. All right, give me a second. Let me try to find something else that use more, like the, the heat gun. All right, so here we go. We got the 1500 watt heat gun. I got two modes, uh, high and low. So I'm gonna start with low first and then see what it pulls. I think it was like 30 before, so it should be 40 now. And then we'll swap it to the 1500 watts. So it should hit over 50 and then see if it turns off or whatnot. It's a 49, 974. I'm gonna place this down so I can touch the wire here. Well, it's not too bad. All right, let's jump it to the 1500 it says it was overloaded but the heat gun was still working not too sure if it's supposed to shut off or anything This is beeping. Hey, sorry, that was my fault. Uh, I didn't turn the meter to the 400 amp size. So hopefully, I don't know, hopefully you guys can see it or should I turn the light off? So I'm gonna blast it again with 1500 watt. 73 amps. But the thing is, the BMS is still on. Let me try to heat it, the thermistor. Oh, it reached temperature. 
but it was able to handle 70 amps. Let's see, cables kind of warm. These are only 10 gauge wires, so it shouldn't do more. Uh, yeah, I think I blasted the heat gun a lot closer, but in this area is hot because the BMS is hot itself. But it can take 73 amps and it turned off when it got too hot. So now let me see if I can reset it and turn it back on. Give me a second here. Okay, I got it back, but I have to short it again. I don't know why they don't have like a switch or something for this. Shorting it out is not the greatest moves or the best thing to do. But it's back on now. We're at 28.1 volt on the battery. There's currently no load yet. And here it goes, the fan's coming back on. Well, uh, while the thermistor works, I'm gonna try to parallel the two thermistor that's on the battery pack. And then hopefully it'll get an average or something and then it'll shut off if it gets too hot. So that's what I really need to shut off when it gets hot. And hopefully I'm gonna try to get something else to get more amperage on it. Uh, we're barely hitting 11 amps and 73 when I use the heat gun. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna do some more videos after I finish all my packs. And go ahead and uh, subscribe, leave me a comment, and then uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.